Hey, it's Shannon here again from the South Warrapa. Um, today I thought I'd do a video on the uh, fruit trees that we've planted, myself and Amber. We've had quite a bit of success with some of the subtropicals that you wouldn't normally uh, think about planting in the South Warrapa. So we'll just we'll go over everything pretty briefly. Um, this is a mandarin quart. It's doing quite well and we have had a few mandarin quarts off this. Uh, this is a granny smith on a dwarf rootstock. We also have planted a black sapote or a chocolate pudding fruit tree. This looks pretty worse for wear but I will show you just down here Hopefully you can see that. We do have um, new buds popping up. All these little green green dots, they're the new buds. So I'm picking, that's going to bush right out soon enough. So that got hammered by the winter. Uh, but we're pretty hardcore around here. We like doing experiments. And I'm pretty sure that's going to bounce back. So it's cool, successful experiments. Um, well, more successful, I should say. Uh, there's Jabba to cover. This is a Sabara Jabba to cover, and this is a Grimmel Jabba to cover, and they've just survived through the Warapa winter. And now we're in spring. We're seeing lots of new growth getting pushed out. Now these are subtropical plants from the Amazon. Look at that, lovely. Same as this guy. The Sabara, I think, might need a bit of a feed. He's a little bit yellower. And we'll make our way over here. This is this is really the subtropical area where we've just been walking through in this this area. What we've done here is we've protected uh, protected the plants of, of this house here. It's a bit of a shack. That we make doing, and yeah, we'll carry on. Let's let's talk about this one. So this is a beautiful specimen. There's another Jabba to cover that has made it through the South Warrapa winter, and this is a Paul Lester Jabba to cover. Some quite rare plants here. Most people wouldn't dare dream about planting these outside, but we're into it. This is what we do on this channel. Over here we've got a custard apple, this is um, a grafted custard apple, it's also called a white sapote. Now this is um, called a luke, I do believe, let me just have a look, yeah, so Casamara, custard apple, white sapote, whatever you want to call it, luke, it's a nice specimen, it's supposed to survive um, quite well in New Zealand conditions and look at that, survived the war for winter, it's pushed out heaps of growth and um, we're just we're just waiting on on some new growth to come through, it's all starting to bud up now so that's pretty exciting. Behind that we have, oh, let me think, it's called an oak leaf papaya now this guy has more than budded up, it, it's a semi deciduous tree um, so it lost all of its leaves, and now it has a massive amount of branches. We've decided to leave this, we're not going to do any pruning, we're just going to let it form its shape. So it's quite interesting. Um, it is a oak leaf papaya, and in there you can sort of have a look at what the fruit might look like one day. And that has also made it through wire for winter. Now this is pretty exciting, look. We're on the G lane, but we've got some tamarillos, red, almost ready to pick tamarillos. I've really been looking forward to this. Uh, we can't wait to eat these. I've never tried tamarillos before. We're in the South Wire Apple. We're smashing, smashing goals here. Going to try some tamarillos. Now this variety 
is called Large Large. And I'm not really too keen on staking plants, but I might have to start staking a few. Um, so what we're going to do here, once we harvest these tamarillos, I'm letting these suckers grow. You'll see them there. And uh, there's a couple here. And I'm going to give it the chop. We're going to we're going to cut it right here. Pretty ruthless, but what that'll do, <coughs> that'll just force these suckers to grow up vertically. And um, it'll be really quite stable. I've done this in the past when I've had a tree fall over. <laughs> And it works okay, but I think I'll better start staking um, some of these new trees that we put in. So this is yellow guava, same story, on the other side of winter. And uh, we're in spring and this is doing well. We did pick a few fruit off this earlier um, in the year, so that's a, that's a promising result. Then we just have um, French sugar figs, just a wee one there, and we have a, a mountain purple, this hasn't gone through a winter, this actually just went in the ground the other day, so that's looking pretty lush, but it's never really seen any cold conditions yet, but that'll be exciting to see how that goes, and we have a, a passion fruit making its way up this canopy five finger tree. Now, this isn't to be taken for granted, this tree. Look at it, it's a monster. But what it's doing, and because of its placement, being so close to the house, which is protecting us primarily from the south winds, um, it, it is providing us a good canopy so that we don't get any frosts here. So we don't get any frosts uh, in this circle or underneath this tree. We do get frost here though. Uh, then we have a pomegranate. This is pomegranate 86. It's a pomegranate cutting from a fruiting pomegranate that was fruiting an upper hut. So uh, we're hoping because it was fruiting an upper hut we should be able to get it fruiting here quite well. And they were nice too, not just not just fruiting, but producing good quality fruit in Upper Hut. Um, and over here we've got a couple of ladyfinger bananas. They're just coming back to life. They also went through the winter. And they're shooting up their first real leaves. Look at this. These leaves all went through winter and they, you know, they're pretty smashed, but they're doing alright. They're still green. We planted a few loquats around. So there's a wee loquat here. And we also have a loquat here. This guy's just going nuts. He um, or she just kept putting out leaves the whole year. It hasn't really slowed down. Now here's an exciting one for you. This is a massive ice cream bean tree it's a real big big one just uh, mind you there's a bit of a wood pile there I've got to get out the chainsaw and cut up some of these um, logs that we couldn't put through the chipper but anyway this this ice cream bean he's made it through the South Wairapa winters and um, look at that we've got he's lost a few leaves but we do have we do have some nice new growth there coming through and it's it's everywhere so ice cream beans in the wire wrapper they can defoliate uh, which I've got another really cool example of that 